I am not a universalist believing that everybody will be saved and that people will in the afterlife come to a deeper understanding of Jesus and then be saved. Uh, you know, the way I read the Bible, the way I see the Bible is that God comes and that He wants everybody to be saved and that He has come for every person but unfortunately everybody is not going to believe this truth and be born from this truth. A very important thing that I see in the theology that I follow which is a family-based theology or a relationship-based theology um, is faith. Without faith something cannot find its entrance in your heart. Without faith you cannot be born from something. A good example that I want to give is of that of my wife and myself. Helena and I, you know, have been together for, I mean we've been married for 21, 22 years and in this time of being married we have shaped one another's lives to the point that we deeply trust and believe in one another. In this trust and belief, belief we have in each other, you will find that uh, we start to do things the same. We start to feel the same about certain things. When we walk into a furniture shop, we will uh, like the same things. Not from the foundation of, I know what she would like, um, or she knows what I would like. She would like what I like, and I would like what she likes. Uh, and we are formed and shaped into one another, and that happens through a powerful thing called faith, or trust, or belief. When, and that is when a person's mind goes to rest at the integrity of another. So uh, it doesn't matter how gracious God is, doesn't matter how loving God is, His love is not greater than His love. I want to say that again. His love is not greater than the love wherein He made us to be beings that have got, we've got choice. So uh, am I a universalist? No, I'm not a universalist. I don't believe that everybody will be saved because there's a salvation school in the afterlife. Uh, in, you will also see in one of our uh, theological points, I talk about the resurrection and the end of all things. What we stand for is the physical resurrection of people that has died and the recreation of uh, the whole earth, the re restoration of all things. So uh, the, the end of all things is a brand new earth and a resurrected body. And that is what the gospel is all about. So it's not about after you're dying, you're going to heaven to go to a school. It is about receiving the Spirit of Jesus and the Spirit, the Holy Spirit in this life so that you can be a possessor of the Holy Spirit, so that your spirit can be united with the Spirit, the eternal Spirit of God. And therefore, you've got eternal life and that's why you can be raised from the dead. So you need to believe in Jesus in this life. That is what we stand for and what we believe.